you are crushing it. If you're still here, I want you to know that you're in like the upper percentile of people that will have probably watched video one and maybe two and not committed. So if you're here, that means that you're a go-getter and I want to double dog dare you to make it to the end all the way to day 31 because I know how much it's gonna change your life. Listen, it's about five minutes a day and I don't even think I have to negotiate with me because I feel like you're all in on this one, but I wanna thank you and I just wanna give you that little sense of, you know, if nobody said this to you yet today, you're awesome, you're capable, you're equipped, and you freaking rock because you're here and you give a crap about your life, which says so much about you. So I believe in you and I know that you can do this. Now, let's talk about routines. And I, know, if you're my people, I know that you love a good routine because one of the most popular videos that I film is my morning routine, which is ever changing and ever developing. But I wanna give you just a Coles note version of what your morning should look like based off of your goals and you actually achieving stuff based off of my opinion of what works for me and what I've gone through in terms of growth of the last seven years and going through this. Now, first thing, you've gotta get good with waking up early. You will always have more energy and a better day if you wake up earlier, before the littles or before the hubby, before the rest of the world, because there's no point in checking your phone. You know what, the, there's not even anything happening in the world yet in the news. So there's no point in checking social media. There's no point in checking your emails. And it gives you that sense of very peacefulness and comfort first thing in the morning. So I don't check my phone when I wake up in the morning. I wake up as early as I can. I've gone all the way to 4.30, which is awesome. And I will tell you that I don't get tired throughout the day. That's a big question that I get is, oh my God, then do you go to bed like eight? I don't. I end up having way more energy and I go way harder. Here's the thing. I wake up mindset wise. I don't check my phone. I don't check Twitter. I don't ever check Twitter because that's not fun. I do not check Facebook. I do not check my emails. I do not check Instagram. I go straight downstairs and I do a workout. So this has changed over the years. I used to do all of the other things and then delay my workout till later in the day. That doesn't work. To get the juices flowing, I do my workout first, first thing. And I would suggest the same to you. 30 minutes, just get moving. That's, to me, that is the game changer in my morning. I will check into the fit gym after for accountability. So I have a virtual fit gym. Everything's done from home. The program I'm doing right now doesn't even have equipment. No impact. There's thousands of workouts to choose from in the fit gym, but it's really something that, you know, you can have your phone, you can do it from anywhere. Andre and I are gonna do a staycation this month. I'm bringing it with me. It's just something that is excuse proof that I can move every single day. And I find, and you might find the same, that as you're working out, your brain kind of, you start to get all these genius ideas. That's why I always keep a notebook next to me. Whenever I'm doing my workout, a genius idea will come to me. I don't check my phone. I just write it on a piece of paper. And that's why, by the way, I usually do the daily grind for my coaches right after my workout because I have all these ideas that I want to share and I'm super motivated. So you'll see the same thing start to happen with you because you're bringing oxygen to your brain and you are breathing into it more than you probably have in the last couple of weeks or maybe months or even years. And you're going to feel that much more motivated to get stuff done in your life. So first thing, work out and work out early and work out first before anything else. As soon as you're done your workout, I want you to trust me on this. Meditate, 10 minutes or less. So in the fit gym, there is, I think it's 31 days, three weeks worth of meditation. So a lot of 21 days and, and there's extras. And there's little short ones too of meditations. Um, if you're not in the fit gym and you just want something free, you can look up Tony Robbins priming. It's a little bit longer, but it'll change your freaking life. And that is, I want you to do that right after your workout. And I have a plan to this. So workout, obviously stretch at the end of your workout. Don't just go straight into your meditation. Then sit on the floor of wherever you just worked out, put in some headphones if you need to, and 10, 10 minutes or less of a meditation. Because you're going to think about the stuff that you want. You're going to have a sense of peace and calm. This is going to help you not have a I'm just going to use the right word because it's how I would feel a psycho bounce back rate and a psycho bounce back rate. And I feel like we need to talk about this in another video, but having a very long bounce back rate will not serve you in business or in life. It will not make you happy. And a bounce back rate is basically how long it takes you to bounce back when crap happens in your life, when something doesn't go your way or chaos happens, which is the theme of the year and you don't know how to handle it. Does it take you a week to get back to normal? Are you spending a week crying and a week freaking out to get like down off of that anger or frustration or confusion or whatever it might be? Or do you have a bounce back rate of about five minutes? That I think for me at least has transformed from going from a week to give myself two minutes. And that's from motivation and working out. That's just 
my meditation, zoning in, being calm. And I do believe that in that you will live a longer, happier, more fulfilled life. So work out, meditate for 10 minutes or less, and you're gonna write out your top 10 goals, which is why I would say bring that notebook downstairs with you. I say downstairs, my gym is in my basement. I'm, I'm talking as though you're gonna come with me. Listen, if you're in the fit gym, you're coming with me. So I will leave the link below to the fit gym. Um, I always get asked this question, how do I join? It's really easy. There's a form on my website, you fill it out, we'll be back to you within less than a day and that's where you can access all the workouts all of if you do need equipment we supply equipment with certain programs um, the containers for your meal prep and all of that your nutrition your supplements that you might or may not need if you want to do a detox there's that road too like there's so many different options and then the meditations are included in all of that so when you're downstairs I want you to <laughs> I said it again you will be with me but when you're in your area of working out and when you're finished with your meditation you are going to grab your notebook and you're going to do your top 10 goals. And that's how you start your day. Workout, meditate, top 10 goals, highlight that needle mover, and then maybe listen to me right after. That is your that is your morning routine and you will be so much more productive for it. I promise you, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, dude.